yes good evening students hi so today we are going to start with probability okay one very important concept the probability as you might be knowing is a very important concept it is going to stay with you throughout your college as well as higher studies okay in higher level exams also probability plays a very important role now in probability today what we are going to look at is a concept which is based on completely on cards okay now these can be any kind of cards okay deck of cards like you know the playing cards which have four different suits then again different cards which have number system on it okay now in cards now it is very common that there are two terms that you will find in very common okay shuffling okay or shuffled okay this is one and the second one would be replacement without replacement now what happens is whenever let me start with the first one okay what is shuffling and stuff when we have a pack of cards okay you might have seen in movies or tv that the cards are shuffled okay this process of shifting the cards one over the other is called shuffling now why do we do shuffling or it is mentioned that the cards are shuffled this is because to reduce the biasness okay you understand biasness that a particular event is not repeated okay or there is no inclination towards one particular event occurring okay and replacement and without replacements are basically that when we use a certain card or a particular event is done okay uh, that card is put back in the pack that is called without replacement okay and when we move take out the card seat and push it other way means we don't use it in the further events that is called repla without repla replacements okay okay uh, yes i see a question from qatar yes nishtha sir what is replacement and what is without replacement yeah as i was going to explain okay that's basically let's say you have a pack of cards let's say 52 cards okay well shuffled okay when we shuffle it there is no biasness that there is not repetitive that king will come out or the queen will come out there is no biasness now replacement and without replacements let's say i'm doing a event okay when i'm looking at the cards and i have to find out a certain card is appearing or not in let's say five events sir yes i see a question from dubai yes amit sir uh, what what do you mean by event what is event okay uh, event let's say uh when you are rolling a die okay and the number 2 has come up on the die okay now the this number 2 coming up when ro we roll a die that is basically one event okay let's say when we flip a coin okay and heads comes out now there are two things when we roll a die there are six possibilities 1 2 3 4 5 6 <laughs> and when we toss a coin there is two things that can happen head or tail let's say my two comes out so the event shows that the showing of two is basically an event and we are when we are tossing a coin when we have a head that is basically an event okay like you must have seen in the matches when uh, the toss is done that is basically how eventful that is right so pertaining to those things only any particular thing that is happening that is termed as event and that event is on based on that event only we find the probability like what is the probability of getting a head okay it would be 1 by 2 right now this is the probability of getting a head is basically an event okay now moving back okay sir okay just one second yeah yes abhishek What's your question? Uh, sir, uh, probability of head is one by two. Yes. And, uh, for uh, tails is also one by two. 
yes yes how how we calculate 1 by 2 yeah uh, for that let's say i'll bring this up again okay you see when you flip a coin it has two sides right heads and tail now until unless we have an event like in shole movie that where the coin is standing apart from that in all other universal events whenever a coin is flipped it has heads or tails okay now these are basically what two maximum possible outcomes okay so when we calculate the probability probability is denoted by p it is based on maximum possible outcomes let's say we have two possible outcomes over here heads and tails and whenever we flip a coin we can have either a head or a tail okay so out of two things only one is coming out so each time for let's say probability of getting a head would be 1 by 2 because only head will come that is one out of two possibilities that is head and tail okay so that's how we have the probability 1 by 2 so that would be true for head also and tail also okay thank you sir okay now let's move back to what we were studying okay replacements and without replacements so let's say i have a pack of cards which has 52 cards in them okay and i'm doing an event let's say uh i'm taking out a card okay i'm seeing it okay whatever it is i'm putting it away okay that is without replacements when i see the card okay i put it back in the deck that is with replacements okay in replacements whenever we have replacements the number of cards will always remain the same okay the probability will always be calculated using this number without replacements each time when a certain event is reoccurring let's say uh i am seeing the card okay whatever if it is below 9 okay like i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 okay i'll put it back in the deck and if i have numbers from higher from 9 i'll replace it so whenever a certain repetitive event is occurring then we reduce the number of cards like that let's say n from 1 to n okay now what does this n represent let's say i have put up a card okay it has come out to be a king so i'll put it away so now what will happening what is happening my number of card has come down to 51 so it has actually come out from this one okay 52 i have my this event has occurred so 52 minus 1 okay so i have 51 now let's say when i again pull out a card it has come out to be 9 i put it back it again is 51 okay let's say the next card comes out okay it to be queen so again this similar event is repeating so i put the summation so this time i have total of 2 okay again 1 so it will become 50 so out of 52 until the event is finished i have come out uh, come down to 50 number of cards okay so in these cases the probability would be calculated on 50 also as well as 52 also based on the type of question we have okay now let's discuss a simple question okay now these questions might seem a little difficult okay but it has a very one trick and then the answer comes out okay let's say i have a set of cards okay it is numbered from 1 to 15 okay now basically 1 2 3 only simple numbering up till 15 now it is given that the cards are well shuffled okay and each time a card is taken out this event is done seven times okay i take out a card i pull it back i take out a card i put it back i just simply note the numbers seven times okay now in these seven times okay i have it is told to you that the highest number seen in all these seven times is 9 okay so 
what you have to find is what is the probability that this number 9 is the highest number of cards. It is told to you that 9 is the highest, but you have to find the probability how the how you have to find the probability of this 9 coming and it is also given to you that these cards are without replacements that is the number 15 is always there means there are 15 cards always there ok now what is the probab now when we have the highest number to be 9 that is in this case the cards that you pick out are basically from 1 to 9 right in a set of 15 cards when the highest number is my 9 then you are choosing from these numbers only right so what is the probability that these numbers are chosen that probability would be 9 to the power 7 by 15 to the power 7 how each time I am choosing from out of 15 I am choosing this 1 2 3 4 5 6, from these numbers so I have 9 by 15 sir? yes I see a question sir, yes Sagar please put up your question sir why we have written 9 to the power 7 yes Sagar that is what I am going to explain to you now ok each time the event is it is given to you that we are doing the same event 7 times right now each time that I am pu pulling out a card ok a certain number is coming I am putting it back but the same event can occur again right so for each probability I will have 9 by 15 and then again when I am pulling out the event again 9 by 15 so each time we have to multiply ok now the probability in each case remains the same ok so for that only let us say I am repeating the event 7 times then I will have 9 by 5 9 by 5 into 7 times so that is how we are getting 9 to the power 7 divided by 15 to the power 7 now it when it, it is coming out that 9 is the highest how is that happening basically when 9 is coming that means these 8 numbers are not coming right the numbers 1 to 8 are not coming so each time let us say I have 8 by 7, 8 into 8 by 15, into 8 by 15, into 8 by 15. Now, these many times in each of these events occurring, okay, these many times 9 is not coming. 1, 2, 3, 4, yes, right. So, these many times 9 is not coming. So, the probability that my 9 is the highest number would be this number minus this number ok this is probability of 9 coming from a set of 15 cards ok where I can have 9 or I cannot have 9 this is the probability sir, and this is yeah I see a question yes Ritu sir can you repeat the last line how this 8 by 15 is coming 7 times yeah see each of this number is basically those number this is this is representing those number that 8 by 15 times out of this is the probability where I cannot get 9 ok but I know that 9 is my highest number and 9 is coming out ok but there are 8 chances that 9 cannot come right so each time it is, it is given that these many number of times I cannot get 9 ok, okay so this is how we are representing that number so when I have 9 as the highest number so the probability that 9 is my highest number would be this number this probability minus this probability ok see we get how do we get 10 10 can be found out 5 plus 5 or I can have 100 minus 90 also as 10 so instead of doing 5 plus 5 each time in this probability it is easier for us to calculate probability using this method basically by subtracting ok now so over here the probability that 9 is my highest number would be 9 to the power 7 by 15 to the power 7 minus 8 to the power 7 by 15 to the power 7 ok 
so you can represent it in any way please make sure that whenever you are putting up the final answer in the probability it doesn't necessarily have to be reduced to form because this is what it actually looks like this is states the actual facts of the question you see 9 to the power 7 this basically states that my numbers in each time are coming from 1 to 9 8 to the power minus 8 to the power 7 times is basically those times where I cannot get 9 okay and this is 15 to the power 17 is all the possible events that can occur okay so you see this question might look to be very tough okay but there is only small thing that you have to understand in each question and after that see the solution is not that difficult to find out right there is no major calculation to be done there is only small little concept that has to be used okay so that is for the day okay and best wishes to you